In this video is a customer of mine who has asked me to fit all of the components for him. So he's chosen to have a Denali D4s fitted to the bike specific mount provided by Denali for the GS Adventure and the sound bomb. And because he wants to control everything through the wonder wheel on his bike without having any extra auxiliary switches, he's also purchased the Denali CanSmart which I'll also be installing in this video. I'm sorry all the sound has been dubbed. You know what it's like when you get two bikers together in a workshop. Things are said which you probably wouldn't want to repeat. Just in case you think I'm from Tulsa or this video is being record recorded in Tulsa, um, it's not. Uh, it's uh, all vi videoed in Northamptonshire, United Kingdom. I'm just wearing a BMW Tulsa motorcycle t-shirt as I was there a couple of years ago traveling through America uh, and when we went through Oklahoma I stopped at the Tulsa BMW garage and uh, purchased myself a nice t-shirt. So this is a 2014 R1200 GS Adventure. Having a few problems getting the panels off this one. So here you'll see I've already fitted the D4 lights to the mount before I've offered it up to the motorcycle. This makes it much easier. The reason this video is much longer than the previous video where I'm installing the same parts on my own motorcycle is because I've left the camera rolling whilst I'm threading all the wires through. To be fair, this is the trickiest part, finding those little gaps and crevices from you know under the seat, under the fuel tank, making sure you're using the right cable ties in the right places, well, not the right cable ties, but making sure you're using cable ties in the right places so the wires don't get in the way anywhere. It does take quite some time if you want to do a good job.
Okay, we're all done here. Now the customer is going to switch the bike on himself and uh, test the lights. Unfortunately, because I've dubbed all the sound, I completely forgot uh, about the horn. He, he does blast the horn here, but you can't hear it. Sorry about that. Um, you can tell he blasts it because the, the lights flash when the horn is blasted. That's another feature which you can program to have on or off, whether you want the lights to strobe. 